Good morning and welcome to Mojo's Garden. I'm going to start with my favorite. This is a human brain and the leaf color is extremely dark and purple and the flowers on the pepper are purple and the pods once they're ready, they, they start out as purple and then they turn to white and now they have this brilliant red. Now this particular plant is in a one gallon pot shoved into my herb garden. The oregano just drapes down. It's a very large pot. And the oregano is extremely happy and behind it I have tarragon and the human brain was placed in the spot that I typically have my basil but it's too sunny on this side of the yard for the basil doesn't like that much sun um, but as you can see the soil is perfect for this pepper He's actually growing in the one gallon pot into the herb garden. So his roots, he can't move, he's stuck here. So we'll let him do his thing until we're ready to put the basil back in that area. Or maybe not because this plant really likes it here. It has few white flies, but the aphids have not found this plant. I think that the ants are too lazy to go through all of the herbs and I, I don't think that ants like the smell so they have stayed completely away. I can't say the same thing for the plants next door but I will show you what I've done. These, This is a reaper you see here. The pods are slightly smaller on the top. I think that's because it has gotten excessive sunlight. You can see how the leaves are rolling up. I don't think it likes this much sun. Uh, typically, the sun is not on this part of the yard, but when the sun shifts throughout the year, right now we're getting full direct sun in midday and the plant is really not happy. I'm going to bring an umbrella over here and help hide it a bit. Uh, see if you can see the date. This 1024. So this reaper has been growing since the end of October from seed. It's doing pretty well. We harvested quite a bit from it. Um, I will say I give a little bit of fertilizer to this plant but I don't any of the leaves and I'll show you why. The plant next to it is actually it's a beautiful plant. This is a death spiral. We've taken many many pods off already and as you can see it's really just flourishing. Got a few problems going on here and I'll, I'll tell you why I've left this plant. In this early spring, way down here, underneath all of this vegetation, we had, right in here, we had an, lizard eggs. And the lizard would go down into the pot and put the eggs. You can see all, their, all that white stuff back there is where the lizard was digging. I haven't touched this with anything. Uh, as far as cleaning wise. Um, it's, the ants really have liked this plant. They've, they've brought several aphids over. But the amazing thing is if I can find it. Uh, I saw it this morning. Here we go. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Uh, there are lacewing eggs. I don't think it's going to focus. There are lace wing eggs. They look like little tiny hairs. And once the eggs hatch, 
they will eat all of the little aphids off of the plant. But for the lizards, I have not bothered to even use any of the Dawn soap washing method on here. I've been told that if you have budding basil, that will help keep the aphids away. Um, as you can see, we have lizard droppings here. So it's very natural. I've left it. They've made incredible pods. Really nice large pods. These are extremely hot. And you'll see there's a lot of yellowing in the leaves. There's a huge spider web. Oh, there you can see it. Huge spider web. Spiders are our friends. The lace wings bugs are also our friends. Um, you can see there's some sun damage. And what, what's interesting is the plant has really done itself completely over here. It's, it's growing through all this bad, that's a lot of white flies. It's growing through all the bad leaves and now popping up these beautiful new growth all over. If I can get in here closer and show you some of the bigger leaves. Look at the bigger branches are now starting to come out with all those new little buds. And yes, there's quite a bit of aphid damage in here as you see, but this side, everything is pretty much isolated. I will give the frogs and ants and lizards a place to do their thing in the yard. And it seems to be working, but they, if they can stay on this plant, for the most part, I'm okay. I'll show you here. This is a, not happy. It's it's too too far up in the sun, so the umbrella would really help, I think. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. And this is why there's always a spot in these little pots. Have a good day, buddy.